We want a clean, productive, progressive community. And we don't want drugs. Put your guns down. No, uh-uh, them drugs got to go. Put them down. You say, why? Murder. Thank you for being out here today. This is something that we do. We believe in our community to do better. We have confidence that we can do better. Sometimes people just need to a wake-up call. And we're here acting like that wake-up call. We're trying to demonstrate that standing on the corner, sending out the right message, going around knocking on the doors, talking to your neighbor, not being afraid to speak up. You gotta be safe, you gotta be smart about it. But as long as you're talking about what's factual, people are being destroyed by drugs. It's what I call and what's known as the drug game. That drug game comes with too much, comes with addiction, comes with violence. Because of families being broken up and destroyed, that leads to neighborhoods being broken up and destroyed, and that leads to communities being destroyed. And we end up with what we see right now that we're tired of. Bad behavior, dominating, too many places in our neighborhood, and people living in fear. That's got to go. That's got to go. We should leave. We should be able to live free, live and let live, send our children to a safe future. But we have to be the ones that prepare them for that. My name is Pete Wilson, President of Philadelphia Community Outreach. We're out here today to send a message to this community, the Heston community, between 55th and 56th and Lansdowne Avenue. There's been a great deal of open air drug sales and gun violence in this neighborhood. The community contacts the police department this department contacted the Philadelphia Community Outreach to come out here and help them with this problem. So we're here today. We started in early March. We'll be here to open our drug sales and the gun violence disappears. We will be here until he's gone. So dedicated to trying to save lives and save communities not just here in Heston, but in the Belmont community. We can end the Belmont safety We can end in that behavior. We at Art Street and 51st. So we're in West Philadelphia, and we have a model that has proven to save lives and communities. So that's why we're here today. We are, we are here making sure that the community knows that once he galvanizes himself, once he takes on the position of saving his own community, getting involved, making sure that the streets are safe, making sure that the community is working together so we can rid ourselves of this open air drug problem. A lot of the problems that we, we're inheriting on the open air drug situation is because there's a somewhat of a tacit approval where people go into their houses, don't say anything, and allow these these young kids stand on the corner and sell drugs. To be addressing that issue, we have to stand up for our community. We have to allow them to let know this behavior pattern is not going to be accepted any longer. And once they understand that, along with our elected officials, along with our state representatives, our council people, our police department, the police department, the district attorney, just that cohesive, that cohesive collaboration will be able to address this issue. Yeah, so. So we're thinking in terms of how we best address this issue. And the best way to address it is to actually talk to these kids, or these folks, right when they're on the farm, making a distribution, trying to uh, make money, et cetera, et cetera. But ultimately, they're going to send themselves to the penitentiary. Ultimately, they're going to end up dead. This is going to the basic outcome when we study the history of drug. Basically, you're going to end up dead, or you're going to end up in the penitentiary. You're going to lose your family structure. All these are all the repercussions from the open air drug. Uh, drug sales and open air drug game and how it all plays out. Alright, so look, you gotta make up your mind what do you want? What do you That's want? Right. Do you want what we're saying? Do you want what we're saying? Do you want a clean community? Good man, do you want a safe community? Good woman, do, do you want a drug community? That's right. What do you want? Do you want a family? That's right. That could be safe in the neighborhood. That's right. Why not this neighborhood? That's right. We want it for this thing. 
We want it for you. But you got to watch for you.